To play Freedom, you need to go to the Freedom website over here, freedom.github.io, and then go to download. And here you have to download Freedom Phase 1 plus 2. Hey, by the time you're downloading this, maybe there's also Phase 3, who knows? It's starting a download, a zip file that's only 18 megabytes in size. You will also need ZDoom, which is available on zdoom.org. There's also a download button here. And there's three flavors. Ignore ZDoom, ignore LZDoom, just get GZDoom. Probably Windows, but hey, who knows, maybe you have a different system. And now finally you can use your browser to find that folder. And here you have them, 118 megabytes and 112 megabytes file, both zip files, just extract them. For example, by right clicking and then extract all. Or maybe you have 7-zip installed, just use that. So now in gzdoom, you can just run gzdoom.exe, but it complains, it cannot find the iwad file. So go to freedom and into freedom and here you need to get these two files. Just select them, control C to copy, go to the gzdoom folder, control V to paste, and now run gzdoom again, and it will give you the option to pick which game to play. Let's start with freedom one, phase one. Just keep the settings the same and press play. In my case, it used the wrong monitor, so I'm just gonna open the gzdoom-myusername.ini. And here I gotta find vid underscore adapter. This is set to one. Let's try zero first. I'm just saving this file. Nah, that wasn't it. Let's set it to number two. Save. And run again. There we go. So now you can just start a game, of course. And what I tell you to do is to use Please Don't Kill Me. Use the easiest game mode. That's how you play uh, Freedom. As a, you know, new player to Doom, which many of you probably are. You will notice that WASD doesn't work. You can use the arrow keys, which are horrible because left right rotates you. So you've got to change a lot of settings first. For that, go press Escape, press Options, and here go to Customize Controls first, Action, Fire should be left, Secondary Fire, not sure that's even available in the main game, that should be right, Weapon Reload, that's probably also not available in the main game, press R, Weapon Zoom, I don't think that's available either, use, I guess, Z maybe. Use Open should be E in uh, sync with modern games. Move forward is W, move backward is S, strafe left is A, strafe right is D. Turn left should not be used, turn right also. Quick turn, I don't care about that, but that's like a pro move. You can put it on G maybe. Uh, let me just try it out. Oh yeah, quick, quick 180. That's kind of cool. All right, let's go back to actions. Uh, jump should be space, of course. Pad Y, what the heck. Crouch, I'm gonna put it on C, but maybe you want to use it for control as well. Crouch toggle, I'm just gonna use shift. Uh, fly, swim, that, I don't think that's relevant for this for this space game. Stop flying also, mouse look, uh, I'll just keep it as it is. Let's just get back. Uh, chat doesn't matter, weapons does matter, mouse wheel does work, so that's all fine. Inventory, there are no items you can activate as far as I know, so never mind that. Other, there's toggle auto map, which is set to tab. That is good. Let's uh, set chase cam to, I don't know, P. Just give it a try. Uh, nothing else matters, so that is fine. So strife pop-up screens, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Let's just try it. I, K... J. Let's uh, let's take a look at that. Map controls are arrow keys and uh, mouse wheel. Uh, that would be it, wouldn't it? Toggle texture. Oh, I gotta try these all these buttons out. So this is the map. Interesting stuff. Mouse wheel is good. Okay, so P does uh, rear view. That is weird. Let's not do that. O I. KL, 
Okay, I set these controls, but they don't do anything, so never mind. Okay, so now I can move uh, left, right with my mouse, and that is not good enough. But I can use WASD to move, that's good. I am very slow, though. So let's go back to settings, let's go to options, let's go to mouse options. Always mouse lock on. Right, you might have noticed there is no crosshair. Let's go to options to fix that, go to HUD options, and uh, set the default crosshair to something. I believe this might be good. Angle. Now we have a crosshair, that's good. And with E we can interact with stuff, like doors. Here's a pro tip for you in sound options, you can randomize pitches. Theoretically should make sounds a little different each time. I don't know if it actually does anything. Player setup, always run. That's a, that's a thing we definitely need. Now we always run. I definitely recommend it. Okay, now there's something about the graphics we need to f yeah, work with. In options, display options. In hardware renderer, in post-processing, enable blue, enable lens distortion, ambient occlusion, FXAA, set it to high, dither output, why not? Tone map mode, you can try it out, I don't really know what the best is here. I think I switched to palette later because it got too dark for me, might be not the best idea. Now you really gotta go to texture options though. We got trilinear by default, which is not good at all. Set this to either none if you like pixels, or go to options, display options, texture options, and as a tropic filter I'm just gonna set this to max. Usually there will be a warning about using these, huh. Oh here we go, high quality resize multiplier. Let's put it to four times, and the one we want to use is, uh, no nah, not this, not this, I think BRZ or normal NX. Hmm, normal NX might not be it. HQNX, MMX maybe? BRZ seems to be the nicest though, at least for this monster sprite. So use that. Just make sure you have enough video memory. And now you can jump and run and look down and up, that's the most important thing. And uh, yeah, you can you can uh, enjoy better graphics, that is also very important. And this is how you play Freedom. You gotta download the Freedom assets and, you know, one of the engines that can run it, combine it, and then the engine has very weird defaults that you have to change. And once you change them, as I just showed you, you will be able to play it proper. Enjoy the show, give this video a, a like if it helped and uh, have a good one. Ciao.